Hola amigos, ¿qué tal? Stuart here from Spain Speaks in the car again today. We're going to have a bit of a chat about something that has caught my attention in the press today while we take a drive to the local shopping center where I have to pick a few things up. So uh, let's go. Now I was going through the press today as I normally do on a daily basis. As you know, I put together these videos where I talk about news here in Spain. And I came across a headline that caught my attention, and the headline was horrendous. British expat shares why he hates Spain. Now, I thought that the article sounded a bit familiar, so I clicked on the link, and it was from the Express newspaper in the UK. And as we know, the Express is a bit sensationalist, let's say. So I thought, uh, I'll check it out, see what it's about and uh, started reading and it was about a person who lived in Spain don't know whether he still does or not that's the question and the headline was as I said I hate Spain can't wait to move or get out of the country and it was by a person called Nick Anders now a few years ago I saw this blog post it was in a, a website called Spain Made Simple so uh, I read it a few years ago and I did a video on the blog post. And if I remember correctly, it was quite a successful video. In fact, it was one of the most successful videos that I have done over the years. Uh, I think it got views of something like over 150,000, so quite popular. And it went to show, or at least it showed me, that uh, people love to see the negative side of things. And I think the reason for that is that people love to read about other people's hard luck stories and this is definitely a hard luck story. Somebody coming to Spain and things go really really bad and people also want to reinforce their own ideas. So for example there's plenty of positive blog posts about Spain but a lot of people are also looking for the negative to help them convince themselves that uh, moving to Spain is not a good idea. And I think that's one of the reasons why this particular blog post took off in the way that it did. And when it comes to negativity, negativity sells, obviously. That's what happens when we live in this uh, clickbait world. A lot of people say that the titles of my videos are, are sometimes quite negative, and uh, ironically, those are the ones that are the most successful. So, um, People love to read about negative things or people love to watch uh, negative things on the television and that's what catches their interest. If everything is positive, people don't seem to be as interested, unfortunately, but that is the world that we live in. But anyway, this person, Nick Anders, disillusioned expat. I'm sure that a lot of people have read this blog post because it's very successful. And he went through various things that he didn't like about the country. For example, crime. He said that crime in Spain was very high. He was constantly getting robbed or something along those lines. And he didn't like living down there in Nerja because of the crime. Now, if you're not familiar with Nerja, it's a, a small town, let's say, in the east of Malaga. Uh, in fact, I think it's the last town before you get to the Granada province. And it's a popular destination with both Spanish people and foreign people as well. Lots of English people, of course, have gone there over the years for their holidays, and lots of people fall in love with the place and they decide to live there. Mistake number one for a lot of people, of course. The second thing that he was critical of was living and working in general. Uh, he didn't like the manana culture that they have here in Spain, where everything's sort of put off, uh, manana, manana. And he was also critical about the job market, couldn't get a job, was sick of having to clean pools, working in bars until two or three o'clock in the morning, couldn't get a good job, a bit peeved about that as well. Customer service was another one of his bugbears. And of course, as we know, customer service can be a bit frustrating in this country, but then again, customer service in a lot of countries can be frustrating as we know. He also complained about the amount of times that he has been ripped off, I think both by Spanish people and also by other British expats living down there on the Costa del Sol. Uh, so he was upset about that as well. And another thing that he complained about was the infrastructure, the roads. And he said that the quality of the roads here in Spain 
is terrible. Now I addressed a lot of these points in that video that I did a few years ago, as I said, and um, I gave my opinion as to whether I thought these things were true or not, whether he was exaggerating a little bit, whether he was spot on with his comments. So if you want to check out my reply to that, you can. I'll leave a link uh, in the top of the video so that you can click on that. But uh, basically, this disillusioned expat, Nick Anders, not happy with living here in Spain. Now, I presume that he doesn't live in Spain anymore. I suppose that he packed his bags after uh, writing that blog post and headed back to the UK. Don't know. That's something that I would like to get to the bottom of as well. But the question I have is why is the Express dragging up this blog post after five or six years? Is it the first time they've done it or are they looking for some type of sensationalist headline? Because as I said before, the headline was horrendous Brit expat tells the truth about living in Spain. Now the original blog post I think was around four, five, maybe six years ago. So it wasn't written recently, but the Express is just picking up on it now. What's the reason for that? And of course, as we know, when you come to live in a foreign country, there's always going to be pros and cons. There's going to be good things, there's going to be bad things. But uh, this blog post picked up a lot of traction. And uh, if you search for it, if you put the name Nick Anders uh, Spain, it's amazing how many times this blog post has been uh, linked to or retweeted or whatever. So it was a very, very popular blog post. So my question is, who is this Nick Anders? Does he exist? Is he still in Spain or has he gone back to the UK? Those are some questions that I would like to know. I've got no idea. As I said before, I've searched for him on the internet. Doesn't seem to exist here in Spain. Maybe he's gone back to the UK. And let's imagine that he did, considering that he was so unhappy living in this country. So I'm gonna put it out there. If anybody's living down there in Nurka, knew Nick back in the day or has heard of Nick Anders, please get in contact with me because I would love to interview the guy and find out exactly why he was so unhappy living here in Spain, apart from the things that he wrote in his blog post, of course. But then again, I have my doubts as to whether or not Nick Anders really exists. Maybe it was just the figment of somebody's imagination that wanted to write a viral blog post and they came up with a fictitious name and Nick was the one that they chose. I don't know, but it could be. Because another thing that I noticed about that blog post is that it was very well written. There weren't any spelling mistakes and it was grammatically correct. So maybe it was written by a professional writer. I don't know, but it could have been. So Nick Anders, if you're out there or if anybody knows Nick Anders, please get in contact with me because as I said, I would love to interview the guy. So let's put this mystery to bed for once and for all. Does Nick Anders exist? or is he part of somebody's imagination? That's the question. And if Nick is watching this video, which he might be, give us a shout, Nick. On that note, I'll wrap the video up. Questions and comments, please leave them in the section below. Debate the situation out as you normally do. Give the video a thumbs up if you liked it, thumbs down if you didn't. Uh, I'll see you in the next one. Hasta luego.